Luroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough, Part 12. Alright, guys, so I'm actually back here over by the Slowpoke Well. You might be wondering what I'm doing, but now that we have the move Headbutt, which we got from a guy in the Ilex Forest, we can actually um, head over to these trees and use the move Headbutt and find some wild Pokemon. And there's one in particular that I'm looking for. And it is Heracross! Yep, if you didn't guess it already, Heracross is going to be the newest member to my team. So, hopefully we can catch this thing right here. Heracross is a bug and fighting type. It doesn't evolve, so it's going to be really powerful right off the bat. Um, unfortunately, you get it at a very low level. This one's only level 3, but, you know, I think in no time we'll be able to train it up into a nice, tough Pokemon. Um, so let's toss a great ball at it. And hopefully we'll catch it. And there we go! Now, Heracross, everyone knows Heracross is a great Pokemon, but I think it's kind of underused because um, everyone doesn't really realize you have to go use Headbutt on these trees in the Zaylee town to find it. Um, but yeah, Heracross is definitely an awesome Pokemon. And for a nickname, um, well, I'll see if anyone can guess it. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give you a hint. This nickname comes from a movie, a movie about bugs. That'll be my hint. And if anyone can guess why I'm naming it this, then... You win 10,000 cookies, I don't know. Um, but let's take a look at it. And you can see what the nickname actually is. Yeah, I named him Dim. Um, let's see, Quirky Nature, alright. And Heracross has really good attack stat, physical attack stat. So, yeah, gonna be a pretty awesome Pokemon. And now that we got that taken care of, we can head back to the end of the Alex Forest where we left off last time. So I'll see you guys there in a minute. Alright, so this is the end of the forest, which we covered last time, and um, stop and talk to this girl on your way through. Um, she will give you a TM. This TM is TM number 12, and I can't remember it right now. What was TM 12? Oh yeah, Taunt. Taunt is a move that you can use on the opponent, and it forces them to use attacking moves. So if you don't want them to keep using Sand Attack or whatever, um, you can do that. And yeah, Heracross is ready to go here, so we got him up front. And when you get out of the forest, there's going to be a whole route full of trainers and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and fight this guy. It's like you think you get out of the forest, you're like, all right, here we go, next city. And then you got a whole route to go through. Um, but, yeah, this guy's got a bunch of Pokemon right here, starting with a Rattata. So let's go ahead and see what Heracross can do right off the bat, even though he's only level 3. Let's see how much Horn Attack will do, because Horn Attack's actually a pretty decent move. And... Yikes, that didn't do, like, anything. Alright, so maybe it's not time for Heracross to actually battle yet, so let's switch out and go to Herbie. Um, but yeah, if you do catch if you do catch a Heracross, I would recommend, um, you know, putting him in the front of your team on this route and switching out to get him up some levels, because you can actually get him up a few levels here. Um, hopefully I can get him up, like, five or so levels by the end of this route before the next city. And even Hermes going to get up to level 15. So yeah, there we go. One level away from evolution, actually. And we got a Sparrow, so let's go back to Heracross. And if you don't know, this is what I like to call the Switcherooski strategy. You switch the Pokemon out from the front, and everyone gets experience. Yep, works every time. So yeah, um, when you're at level 3, you're going to get up levels really quickly. So even if you're only getting half the experience, you're going to be able to get up levels pretty quickly. So he's already almost at level 4. And meanwhile, all we have to do is kill these sparrows and whatnot. So let's go ahead and use Headbutt, our new move, which is actually pretty powerful. And there we go, we'll knock it out in one hit. And that will get Heracross up to level 4, so there we go. In no time, he'll be at level 100. And he's got another sparrow. Down goes the second sparrow. And what's his last Pokemon? I think it's like a Sancher or something like that. Oh, and her er, Heracross is at level 5. And yeah, Sandshrew's his last Pokemon. And yeah, I, in my opinion, Sandshrew's a pretty underrated Pokemon. It's a pretty awesome defensive Pokemon. I always like using it, but yeah, we'll switch over to Chikorita to hopefully knock it out with a Razor Leaf. Yeah, Dim's not really ready to do anything on his own, but you know, once Dim gets up to like level 10, 10 to 15, that range, then his attack's going to be really high, and then he'll just be knocking everything out in one hit because he learned some really awesome moves. Anyways, Razor Leaf's going to do a bunch of damage. And gee, Sancher still lives, just because it's such a beast. And let's hope this doesn't poison me, because I don't want to have to deal with that. And I'm going to have to deal with that. 
Yeah, that's just great. Alright, time for revenge. Kill this thing with your mighty leaves of death. Shapam. And down goes the sand true. Stupid frickin' sand true poisoning my Herbie. Who does he think he is? Well, at least Heracross got to level 6. And yeah, Heracross doubled his levels from just one battle, so... Yeah, there we go. Um, and I think I got an antidote in the forest back there, so let's make good use of that and heal up that poison. Yeah, the doctors in the Pokemon world must have come a long ways because you can literally cure poison in, like, one second. And in real life, it's, like, it's not that easy, I guess. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Now, yeah, there's a lot of grass here. Um, if you're looking for a Psychic-type Pokemon, this might be the place to look because you can catch Drowsy and Abra in the grass. And if you use Headbutt on the trees, you can get Execute. So, a lot of good options for Psychic-types. Anyways, yeah, this guy's got a Snubble on his team. Um, Snubble is a new normal type Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch over to Herbie to take care of it. I always thought Snubble was kind of an underrated Pokemon. It actually has really good physical attack when it evolves. Um, and I'm paralyzed! Okay, I've talked about this before, but how in God's name does licking paralyze you? Like, seriously, in real life, if you get hit by a car, you might get paralyzed. If you fall out of a three-story building, you might get paralyzed. But in the world of Pokemon, if you get licked, you get paralyzed. It makes no sense. But then again, what does make sense? Nothing. So, let's just kill this thing with leaves, because that makes about just as much sense as getting paralyzed by licks. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, there goes Snubble. And a lot of experience for everyone, so... Next up is Mareep. Alright, um, I don't even know if I have Paralyzed Heals, but whatever, I'm gonna switch back to Heracross. And I'll let Geodude, um, kill this Mareep. Yeah, the Electric Sheep. Apparently a lot of random a animals can, you know, shoot out electric bolts because they have electric rats and electric sheep. I mean, seriously, they have electric birds, they have electric everything! Um... And I doubt that growl is really going to change the fact that this magnitude is going to obliterate you. So let's go magnitude 7. Yeah, there we go. Shake the whole world and kill this thing. So yeah, um, a lot of experience for everyone once again. And Dim gets up to level 7, so there we go. Now Heracross is getting up some levels and he's learning a new move already. Fury Attack. Let's see, Fury Attack. Oh man, this is a tough decision. I think I will get rid of Tackle. I don't know, they're both kind of even moves, I guess, but whatever, I like getting new moves, so let's put Fury Attack and get rid of Tackle. Um, yeah. I still have Endure, I was gonna get rid of that, but I think I can actually use that later on and make good use of it. Anyways, yeah, there's the little dude with the little Pichu boy on his back. Um, anyways, yeah, let's move on. I think we got a few more. Yep, there's a trainer up here. And there's a trainer down below there we'll fight next. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Well, I'm the best in my class at Pokemon too, punk. Yeah, I remember back in the day, back in elementary school, everyone used to show off their Pokemon in their games like, Yo, check out my level 100 Mewtwo. I don't know, maybe you guys did that, but that's what happened at our school. And we'll go into Batman to kill this manky. So yeah, you're going to see a lot of Pokemon in this route that are completely new. Well, not completely new, but new into the game, like you haven't seen Snubble or Mankey or any of those Pokemon yet. But yeah, it's time for some Super Sonic. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good fighting types in this game. Um, Mankey's pretty good, but I prefer Heracross. I think he's the best fighting type you can get. So let's start using Bite to slowly kill this. Even though I don't have any flying type moves, I guess I'll just have to use Bite. Um, because all my moves are not very effective, so... Yeah, hopefully you just keep hitting yourself in confusion. And hopefully Bite just makes you flinch over and over. Oh yeah, there we go. So let's knock this thing out. Well, that wasn't too bad. So yeah, um... Yeah, I really don't know what to say. This is just typical killing a bunch of trainers. Stuff you guys have all seen before. And we got a Diglett up next. Another new Pokemon, so... Go back to Heracross. And switch out and get some experience. Yeah. Basically, all we're going to do in this video is switch in and out and kill trainers. So, uh, even though Chikorita's paralyzed and almost dead, I'm going to see if I can, you know, take a risk and kill this thing. Oh, you're going to scratch me. Don't even get me started on how Diglett can possibly scratch you. 
But anyways, let's use a Razor Leaf. And looks like I might just barely hold on to kill this thing. Because Razor Leaf will kill it. This thing has crappy defenses. And goodbye, Diglett. So there we go. Um, ooh, a lot of experience there. 103 for everyone. So yeah, even though he was the best in his class, I don't know, he must have he must be in one of those one room schoolhouses with like five kids or something. Or maybe he's homeschooled, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm not gonna give give you my phone number because I don't want to fight your crappy Pokemon ever again. Um yeah, let's go down here through the grass and fight this little picnicker. Who's just hanging out in this puddle over here for some reason. I don't know, I wouldn't just stand in the middle of a puddle. Um yeah, but this is the picnicker, so I don't know, apparently she's having a picnic in the middle of a puddle. Maybe she likes soggy sandwiches, I don't know. Anyways, she's got a Hoppip, and you know what? Uh, Heracross is up to level 7, so... Let's go ahead and try to kill this thing, because Hoppip really isn't that strong, so... Horn Attack! And that did a decent amount. So, Hoppip's gonna Tail Whip. Not really gonna do anything, so yeah, Horn Attack. Until you die. Aw, oh, crap, Synthesis. Alright, that's gonna restore its health. Right when I'm so close to killing it, you just have to mess with me and do that crap. Alright, keep nailing your horn at him, I guess. And you're just gonna keep wailing your tail. And lowering my defenses, not that I really care. So there we go! Heracross officially killed a Pokemon on his own for the first time ever. And gets up to level 8. So there we go. Was, I mean, seriously, a few minutes ago, Heracross was level 3. Now he's already up to level 8. And next up is a Bulbasaur. Alright, so I don't think Heracross can take down this thing on his own, so let's get some help from Batman. Here we go. na 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 batman Uh, Vine Whip. Ha, that's gonna do nothing. So I don't even know how this girl has a Bulbasaur, because you can't even catch Bulbasaur, like, in Johto, but she somehow pulled it off. Um, so yeah, let's just bite you until you die. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's go ahead and try out U-Turn. So that's going to be super effective. Do a lot of damage. And then the way U-Turn works, you go back out and switch a new Pokemon. So, yeah, let's go back to Heracross. Yeah, this is some intense teamwork right here. U-Turn and back over to Dim. So, yeah, let's kill it with a Horn Attack. And there we go. That was just amazing. That That is how you use teamwork in Pokemon right there. So, a bunch of experience, and another Hoppip, so we'll kill this thing on our own. And we might get all the way up to level 9 by the end of this video, who knows. Maybe even level 10 if we're lucky. Um, so Horn Attack. And yeah, we're gonna knock you out in two hits. Hoppip is really just a crappy Pokemon, in my opinion. I mean, some people like using it, but I always just thought it was terrible. I don't know, there are better grass types out there, in my opinion. Not that you always need to use the most powerful grass type, but I just think Hoppip is a crappy joke of a Pokemon. Anyways, there we go. Yeah, she just can't win because she has a bunch of Hoppips on her team. And no, I don't want to give you my number. Like, seriously, the last guy asked for my number, I'm not going to give you my number either. I don't want any of your numbers. Once is enough for me. Um, so when you get up here, you're actually going to find... Uh, who is it? Lyra, Lyra. I still didn't figure out how to pronounce her name. It's like I rem I figured it out like a while ago and then I forgot again. But anyways, yeah, she's gonna basically introduce you to the daycare. Um, I completely miss it. This is her grandpa, I guess. So yeah, she's gonna show you inside the daycare. Someone was talking about the daycare earlier. It's basically a place where you can put your Pokemon in and they will train them up for you. So you can just walk around and they will be gaining experience and getting up levels. And this grandma's like, oh, is that your boyfriend? And she's like, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. And she's like, oh, I know how you kids are these days. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, you can put a male and a female in here. And if they're the right match, they will um, breed and give you an egg, which you can hatch into a new Pokemon. Um, or you can just leave them in here to level up on their own. So yeah, um, that's basically how the daycare works. I'm not going to use it this game, I don't think, just because I don't really need to. Um... And yeah, obviously she's going to give you her number. Not that I want her number or anything, but yeah, you have to get her number, which is stupid. But anyways, yeah, that's the daycare right here. Um, yeah, if you're just a lazy person, you can uh, put your Pokemon in the daycare, then just run around for like an hour and come back. They'll be like 10 levels higher. Um, yeah, and then this guy is going to give you his number. So yeah, you just got to get all these stupid numbers, filling up your Pokegear. 
I wish I could just go back and delete them. I don't know, maybe I can. I'll have to check that out off screen. And just get rid of all these people's numbers so no one ever has to call me and bother me. Anyways, I guess we got one last trainer to go here before the end of the route, so... Yeah, one last picnicker, and we will finally be in Goldenrod City. So yeah, we're so close, but I'll just fight this last person right here. Oh, I can, like, see the city from here! We're so close! Alright, so one last trainer. And I actually think there's an item over there in the grass. I think it's a TM or something. I don't know. Anyways, he's got one Psyduck, so this shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's go over to Zubat and kill it. Yeah, Psyduck is a water and psychic type, kind of like Slowpoke, so Bite should be pretty effective. It'll be super effective. Um, and yeah, he's going to shoot water at us. And actually did kind of a lot of damage, so let's bite our way to victory. And yikes, I actually might need to heal here. Okay, let's go ahead and use a Roost, just because I don't want to die right now. <laughs> just because Chikorita's almost dead, and Geodude can't really kill Psyduck, so if Batman dies, I'm going to be in trouble. So yeah, let's Roost up here. And yeah, there we go. Alright, good, he's only going to scratch me. So, more biting! <sighs> I think it's funny how bite became a dark type move, because then it's like super effective against ghost types, which completely makes no sense at all, but, you know, that's just this game for you right there. And one more bite will knock you out. So there we go, the psychic, or the psychic duck, side duck, is going to die, and almost got up another level, so yeah, there we go. Alright, so we beat all the trainers, we did everything, and we can... Oh no, I do not want... What is with everyone trying to give me their phone number? Seriously, am I just like a really good looking guy or something? I don't know, but here's Goldenrod City, we finally made it, and we'll check it out next time. See you all then.